Pisces. You need to know this right now for November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Pisces. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So, Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the four swords for Pisces. Clarify the four swords for Pisces. Clarify the four swords for Pisces. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Pisces. Clarify the fool for Pisces. Clarify the fool for Pisces. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is a keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the High Priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces. It is clarified with the six of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Pisces, listen, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made.
you know, Pisces, you guys could be on a break and this person is getting your attention and you're using your intuition on whether or not you should start new with this person here. Pisces, you could also tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You began to recognize something concerning them taking a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. And you're on a break and not speaking to them. I feel like you got a hint, hint, clue, clue here about something. Pisces, you have the King of Cups. This is you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the King of Cups. For Pisces, clarify the King of Cups. For Pisces, what about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the King of Cups. For Pisces, it is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks, having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. So Pisces, listen, you know, you seem to be maybe upset with this person. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're upset because of the tit for tat tug award toe to toe. Some type of mind games and manipulation. You may feel like you know what? I just have an X to grind here. I'm upset here. Something is being brought to your attention concerning this person. Pisces. What? You have the Ten of Wands. Aries. Leo or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So Pisces, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Pisces. Really? It's like I'm sick and tired of this shit. I'm just sick and tired of it. it. Something is being brought to your attention here concerning them taking a risk or a chance. And you're at a place where you're just feeling like, you know what, I need a break. But to me, you releasing this burden has been a long time coming because like I said, you peeped something or you intuitively knew something or hint, hint, clue, clue. You just couldn't put your finger on it. But maybe now you can. I don't know what you found out. Let's see. You have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Pisces. Clarify the star for Pisces. Clarify the star for Pisces. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in an institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. 
Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Pisces, you can tell me you're getting your, with, your wish, your ships are here. And you're sitting pretty as the Queen of Pentacles here. Something could be coming into you. However, we have two travel cards here. You can tell me that you're just wanting to leave a situation or travel to look to see what else is out there. You can tell me that you're taking a break from this person and you're getting ready to start new and go on some type of journey, some type of travel here. Pisces, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. First of all, you can tell me you're waiting to see whether or not you're going to heal things with this person. Yes. Or you're telling me that you're just needing to heal individually on your own and you're just wanting to see what else is out there. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So listen, Pisces, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain, but in tarot tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the knight of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting it's so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Pisces, listen, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Yeah. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here, Pisces. Mm. Pisces, listen. You can tell me that you didn't waste no time or you rush 
to go stagnant with this person because you got some type of blessing here money assets resources abundance this abundance here your ships came in did you get your wish here and you're like finally i can let this go and set out on a brand new journey and leave here however you can tell me that you guys this commitment marriage living together situation or family dynamics came to an end you guys went stagnant because they were out being a player with new love here they took some type of risk or a chance and you just want to leave and heal at any rate you're ready to release this burden you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of this situation i'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you pisces this is just additional messages here And so, irreconcilable differences, divorce, final. Irreconcilable differences, divorce, final. Is it ending over here? Okay, what else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. What? Drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos over here. Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, you need to know this right now for November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.